Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. Oh, you guys, I have had a really crappy day. <laughs> it just has been crappy from start to finish, and I'm not going to bore you with all the details here. It just has been. So I just felt the need to get on the mic and have a warm hug with my drunk goose club, honk honk, and take a breath. And <laughs> I just wanted to get on and hug my friends and look at some funny memes. So what do you say? If you're having a crappy day, chime in in the comments. We'll get through it together, you guys. I'm here. I'm sending hugs. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get into this. I really, really appreciate you. I always talk about this account, Lean Meme Machine. They make me laugh so much with their memes, so let's take a look at what they have going on right now. A day in the life, Meghan Markle. <laughs> so good looking at, of course, Catherine, Princess of Wales, in her beautiful red outfit. Yep, I feel like that's honestly probably what happens like scrolling for comments about herself and looking at pictures of Catherine oh all I say is read it and weep look how beautiful Catherine looks you know plates are breaking all over Montecito over this photo all right then we have this one we have the crayon eater asking what you working on and Megan replying I'm adding names to my little black book today it's Swift Simmons and Zimmer and of course Swift being Taylor Swift, where she turned on the interview and Simmons and Zimmer people that have recently spoken out about the grifters. And I love it. <laughs> this is such a great meme. So they're very clever and made this, I guess, promotional picture for the Invictus special that's coming uh, to Netflix, supposedly. Of a, I, I don't even know. I don't care. It's a Invictus thing, that a project that Harry and Meghan supposedly are working on that's coming to Netflix. Summer 2023, Heart of Invictus. <laughs> she just has to be in it. <laughs> there, there she is in the background. <laughs> you guys, I just keep obsessing about that. Um, allegedly, she took some funds out of the Invictus to uh, spend on clothes. That's the rumor going around now. So Ugh, if that's even kind of true, that is disgusting. I don't know why I'm surprised anymore. All right, let's keep going. All right, this person's name is Duchess Pinocchio, and it says, Meghan Markle has conned Harry into believing Diana constantly talks to her. Hashtag Meghan Markle psycho. And they made this to go along with it, which is perfect. Harry, Harry, <laughs> your dead mother wants you to marry me. I wondered that too. There were so many things that have come up about Diana speaking to her, uh, allegedly, and stuff. And you guys had so many funny things to say about her going to Diana's grave and all of that. So, yeah, this goes right along with it. And I wondered the same. I'm sure that was part of it. I had heard, allegedly, a um, false pregnancy scare helped push the, uh, the wedding along. So why wouldn't his dead mother chime in, too, right? And since we're talking about it, I got to give you guys all the credit in the world. I got the best comments about that. Um, we put out a video yesterday about it. Today is Thursday, so go back and check what Wednesday's videos. But um, about, I, I, I had said just how ridiculous the whole story is. Like that she is convincing him his mother is speaking to her and he is believing it because, yeah reasons and um you guys chimed in like of all the people to speak to she comes back to speak to Megan you're exactly right why would it be Megan what it just uh adds new layers of um insane to the whole story all right let's take a look at this it's by mystified at mystify and they're sometimes here in the comments so thank you so much for being here let's read what they tweeted out it says Megan and Harry made several visits to the U.S. when they were supposedly living in Canada, when they visited Stanford, and when they visited J.P. Morgan in Miami. If they managed to travel without it making the news, I guess they're not as, quote, stalked by the paparazzi as they like to pretend. They also, ha sorry, they also have managed to be living in L.A. long before March, and lied to the entire world about where they actually were. I did not know that. I really hadn't kept up with that part, but it, nothing shocks me with these two. Megan calls Batgrid to take photos, and she has complete control over the dates and the photos are printed, 
as well as the story that goes with them. They've been lying from the beginning. Yeah, that's for sure. Nobody's stalking them, least of all paparazzi. Harry will lose his security case. They don't need to, let's see, they don't need or qualify for IPP status. I'm sure there'll be another PR stunt before this next court appearance where the paparazzi is chasing them. You mean a near catastrophic car chase? And well, see, I didn't read ahead. Yep, another near catastrophic car chase. The first one failed, but that doesn't discourage nutmeg. Nope, you're exactly right. I keep thinking the same. I feel like another stunt will come. Probably not with a car chase because they tried that and it spectacularly failed, but maybe. I don't know. Something to do with the kids, maybe? I'm not really sure. A lot of people think they will trot out the kids, whether you believe they exist or not. Um, they will trot out the kids in some sort of, I don't know, uh, attention scheme soon. So yeah, I'm with you. I feel like another scam scheme, whatever plot is coming, and the next one will involve, they won't even let us walk our kids to school, which reminds me of that photo of Megan holding Archie. And people have chimed in and said, that's not even, like, she did that on purpose. They knew where she was going to be. She called them <laughs> to take that photo. So, yeah. But also remember her complaint, for, one of the reasons she said they weren't staying in the UK is because their children would be paraded every day in front, you know, in front of paparazzi for school. They'd be forced to pose. And everybody said, no, they wouldn't, you know. William and Catherine's kids, the princes and princess, sorry, the princes and princess don't do that. They have a deal on the first day of school, but otherwise they're left alone. It's part of the deal. So no, nothing these two say is true. You are spot on mystified. I couldn't agree more. I'm sure they will pull a stunt soon. I'm just waiting to see what it is. And as I was pulling tweets, I just found this one from mystified. Um, again, it's at mystify. I had to share it because I was literally just talking about this. If Meghan Markle can talk to Princess Diana, who else can she talk to? Maybe Harry could do interviews with famous leaders from beyond the grave. Meghan can get in touch with Martin Luther King or JFK, and Harry could ask him about their traumatic childhoods. <laughs> Sounds like a hit to me. Hashtag Harry and Meghan are lying grifters. Oh, mystified. So, <laughs> so, so perfect. So spot on. You're right. I mean, why not? The cons just never end with these two. So sure. I Every time I think they can't go lower, I think they've reached rock bottom. They're like, no, no, we got this. Hang on. All right. Aussie chick. Hi, Aussie chick. You're here too sometimes. Thanks for being here. Despite Megan's twisted narrative about Diana and the fact that Harry's buying into it because he's mentally unhinged, I want to clarify, I do not have a skerrick of sympathy. I like skerrick. For that bastard. I detest the both of them. Thank you, Aussie Chick at Tezza Bradshaw. You you said it so well. I agree. So I talked about this too. I do think he's just, yeah, I mean, she says the best, mentally unhinged, but I still don't have sympathy for him. I don't. We've talked about this at length about, I've had so many touching stories. I want you to know I've read them all. I really appreciate everybody sharing all their stories about people that have lost people, people that have experienced true tragedies, and yet you don't get to use that as a card your whole life. That's not how life works. And yet, Harold has not gotten that memo as he loves to play victim. I don't have any sympathy for him either. He let all that stuff go on with Meghan and her treatment of the family and especially the Queen and Prince Philip and everybody, and, and he... He did nothing. I mean, even on the Netflix, when she was doing her mock curtsy, he just sat there and grinned like an idiot. So no, I don't feel even a little bit sorry for him. Okay, got this one from Megan's Mole. It says, 2018, Harry's annual allowance from Dutchie, which he shared with Megan, was 5 million pounds or $6.9 million. This paid for Harry and Meghan's public duties as working members of the royal family, such as wardrobe and travel, as well as private costs. The talentless harlot still moaned about not getting paid on walkabouts. You guys, ugh. It just makes me ill. It really does. It makes me ill, and I know it does you too. Just hearing these these numbers and, and 
processing that. Yep. Being complain, uh, complaining about not getting paid for walkabouts. And, and as I pointed out at the time, this is the same, that's the trip allegedly where she went to uh, Fiji and acted like a, you know what, in the market after people had set up and waited hours to see her. She uh, threw a tantrum and, and left after only a few minutes and um, was also complaining about not getting paid. And yet, forgetting the fact, apparently, that uh, according to this, they got uh, five million pounds <laughs> as well as all the perks of housing and security and everything else. So, yeah. Yeah, keep whining, you whiners. Keep telling the rest of us how hard you have it. Okay. I'm having a real shitty day and I'm not here for this BS. Miss me with this BS, right? Ugh, I cannot with these two. I cannot. It's the same thing. I, what jumped into my head is remember they were like, when we left, they cut us off financially. No, they didn't. It was proven that Charles gave them, I believe it was millions plural after they left. Just absolutely ridiculous. Anything to play victim. Anything. Again, tell me how hard your life is, right? Tell us all. Which state of flux replies, but they were so broke, they had to have they had to buy IKEA lamps and bargain couches. Ha ha ha. I'm not making fun of you, State of Flux. You bring up such a good point, but it says Grifter's gonna grift. Hashtag Harry and Megan. Hashtag Harry and Megan are grifters. Yeah, exactly. Those two with that nonsense saying that they bought from IKEA. Oh, and then how about Harry with she doesn't eat very much. She'll make her own clothes. Uh, okay. <laughs> and yet complaining about the five million that they received on top of everything else. Okay. These two continue to be the absolute worst people. Each time I think it can't get worse, they surprise me. And I don't know why they surprise me, but they do. I guess I just... I'm a stupid ass optimist who doesn't expect people to act like this. And then they're like, oh, no, 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 this is this is us. <laughs> they seem to be in a contest with themselves to be the most unlikable people ever. Congratulations. You're winning the contest. All right. This has been trending on Twitter. People are definitely talking about this. People tweeted me about this. I'm not going to give that you know what any publicity. Just know that Scooby-Doo is, I guess he's written another book this time about the royal family. I'm not going to say the name of the book here because I don't want to give him even a little bit of publicity. I will not be buying the book. I can't say I won't be discussing it. It depends on, you know, what comes out, but I won't, I won't do anything to publicize that guy. I don't believe a word he says. He's in these two back pocket. That's all I need to know about that guy. But just know that there is a book coming out. I already forgot when, and I don't care when, but it's later this year, I believe. Maybe in the next couple of months. I don't know. Um, and it's, again, I'm not trying to publicize it. It's called Endgame. So just know that. And he's talking about the royal family. Okay. Not biased at all, right? Okay. Um but this person tweets out, Scooby-Doo warns moments royal family will be ashamed of. The only thing that I would think they should be ashamed of is how long they covered up for the idiot Ginger. Because they did. <laughs> what I mean is they covered and didn't let us all know how painfully stupid that guy was. They tried to protect him. Um, and, and I do take issue a little bit with how the bullying allegations were handled. But uh, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody specific. I'm just saying in general, that's my only issue that I have there. But otherwise, this guy can F right off. Okay. And then we have Connie2835 saying, poor babies. Uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reported reportedly think that people are taking, quote, cheap shots at them. So what they're talking about is there's a there's an article in InStyle magazine. Why are they talking about Harry and Meghan? I didn't even know InStyle was still a thing. I remember getting that thing in high school. Um, anyway, they apparently, I don't know, they put out an article that Harry and Meghan feel like that, well, again, people are taking cheap shots at them. I'm sorry. When you call the whole of Spare a cheap shot at the royal family, what would you call the whole Oprah interview a cheap shot at the royal family? Well, and completely made up lies but <laughs> I mean again I think InStyle is just looking for something to for people to click on but 
if this is even kind of true, if Harry and Meghan kind of leaked this, like, oh, they're taking cheap shots at us, tough shit. I mean, <laughs> you started it, so deal with it, right? It looks like it's being picked up by Elle magazine as well, so <laughs> maybe it was planted by their people or whatever, but Archie's special lemon cake tweets out, joke of the day, Meghan Markle, Candle, and Prince Feather uh, are sick of people taking cheap shots at them. Cry me a river. I'm sorry, but again, I don't feel the le- I don't feel the least bit sorry for them. They've done this all to themselves. They should have thought of that before they took sh- cheap shots at the queen. How about that? Well, guys, I'm going to go get my head right. <laughs> I'm going to go get in a better headspace. Because right now, I'm just not in a great one. Um, You want to know how I do that? I read your comments. Because you guys are always so kind in the comments. And I appreciate you so much. But uh, I'm going to turn this day around. And I hope yours is good too. I hope yours is better than mine. I hope uh, all of it. But I appreciate you guys so very much. You guys are my... You're my drunk goose club. To which I say honk honk, friends. Honk honk. Speaking of the merch, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm loving this stuff so much. You guys, the response to the merch has been incredible. Huge thank you to Jay for, you guys have been calling him Sexy Voice Gander, which I love, and Sexy Father Goose. (laughs) Anyway, he did a great job on the merch. It turned out so cute and so fun, and the response to the merch has been incredible. Thank you to everybody who's placed orders. I really appreciate that. As I mentioned, it does ship worldwide. It's just very slow shipping, so just be patient. Even if you're stateside, they are very slow to ship. Hopefully, you get it in a timely manner, but it frustrates me too. But anyway, the merchandise, the the company, the quality is really good, so I do like that. I just wish they were a little more speedy in their shipping, so just be patient when you place that order. I like to be very clear about that, but I appreciate you all so much, you drunk goose honk honk. (laughs) And again, thank you for making me smile. Thank you for everything. You know what? I didn't even talk about it. I crossed into 98,000 subs this morning, right? What am I doing complaining? It's a great day. Um, No, seriously, 98,000 subs. It's because you guys, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you all so very much. And again, thank you for being here. I have so much more fun stuff coming out. I promise I'm going to turn my mood around. I'm going to put out some fun stuff. So check back lots. As always, thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. And I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.